Want to take your Thanksgiving Day leftovers to the next level? Chef Justin Beckett of Southern Rail Restaurant has three delicious recipes that will tantalize your taste buds and wow your family. Starting with breakfast. First up, stuffing waffles. Savory waffles are so popular right now, so what better way to use your Thanksgiving leftovers than to make a waffle? This recipe couldn't be simpler. Add a couple eggs to bind the stuffing and you're good to go. Serve with syrup and top off with cranberries and you'll love this leftover a waffle lot. Next, the Thanksgiving quesarito. Chef Beckett says to start with a quesadilla as your burrito wrap for the ultimate post-Thanksgiving day lunch. You don't want to get it too crispy, you just want all the cheese to be melty because if you get it too crispy then when you roll it, it breaks. You want to start with the mashed potatoes. That way when you place all the other ingredients inside, they'll stick right to it. Chef says to make sure you put the ingredients down the center of the quesadilla so it's easier to roll. And the secret to rolling the perfect quesarito? I'm going to start by folding over the side flaps and then rolling the burrito over nice and tight. And get ready for ooey gooey quesarito goodness. And finally, the ultimate Thanksgiving leftover dinner, turkey pot pie. We're going to go ahead and create a savory pot pie filling using all of our Thanksgiving leftovers. You can pop the ingredients into any baking dish or find a cast iron mini serving bowl of your own at Target for about 13 bucks. We're going to go ahead and finish it off with some mashed potatoes. A time-saving trick, go ahead and use a store-bought pie crust. I popped this pot pie into the oven at 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes. Enjoy this pie-liciousness with a cranberry garnish for a touch of tartness. Thanksgiving leftover dishes so good you won't be able to wait till next year is what's on the to-do list.